In this video, we are building the Navodesk Smart Standing Table. I'm going to show you the full step-by-step -step process so that you can build it at your home. In an unboxing, make sure to put the desk on the foam. Or you can just also leave it inside the box for setting it up later. Now, carefully place the parts on the floor. So the full package comes in 12 pieces, including the screw bag. Don't worry because there are labels on the screw bag. So if you need a screw or a piece, you can just look at the bag itself. First, you need a 4mm hex spanner and 8 pieces of M612 screws. We need to adjust the crossbar to the proper position by loosening up the 4 screws right here. You can know the proper length of the crossbar by placing it on top of your desktop. But you don't need to get it right at the first time because we can always adjust it later. After you adjust it, simply tighten the screws back. After that, we align the legs on both ends of the crossbar. And then we raise the whole crossbar and place it from the top of the two legs. We do this so that the cables can fit inside the crossbar. And finally, we use the 8 pieces of M612 screws to attach the legs to the crossbar. Here's a pro tip. Make sure you put the other screws first and then you can tighten all of them at the same time. After that, we need to connect the feet. You will be needing 8 pieces of M614 screws. We simply place it on top of the legs and any orientation will work because it has the same length on each side. And then we put in the screws. Make sure to tighten them at the same time and not individually. Finally, we are done at the bottom part of the table. Turn the table upright slowly and carefully. Make sure to carry with your legs and not your back. If the legs are unstable, make sure to tighten the screws again. We will now be attaching the brackets to each crossbar end by using 4 pieces of M612 screws. These brackets will be the support for the desktop. Again, I just want to remind you to put all the screws first before you tighten them at the same time. For the next step, we need 6 pairs of plastic pads and rubber cushions. So the rubber cushion goes on top while the plastic pad goes under. These pairs goes to 6 holes on the frame, mainly at the center and the 2 brackets on each side. This is important because this will be the point of contact of the desktop to the legs. And this is also where the screws will go onto the table. Now we are done. All that we need to do is attach the desktop onto the legs. We can do this by placing the desktop onto the foam. This is to prevent damage and scratches. We suggest to have two people carry this over, but if not, you can always do this trick. Now that it's placed there, you can see that my screw holes are not matched perfectly. So what we need to do is adjust the crossbar again, just like what we did in the first part, and just carefully align it to the pre-drilled screw holes. And for the next part, we need an electric screwdriver and three sets of screws. The best way to remember them is there are six fat screws, two thin screws, and two more fat screws. So the six fat screws goes onto the holes of the rubber cushion, which is located on the edge and in the middle part of the crossbar. And for the next one, we need to attach the power supply. And you can see that the screw holes are diagonal, so it's pretty easy to line it up. The screws that we will use here are the two other fat screws. And then finally, we need to attach the keypad. The last two screws, the thin ones, will go on here. And after we attach everything, the whole table is complete. All that we need to do is connect the cables into the power supply. And after you do that, don't forget to connect the Bluetooth dongle at the back of the keypad. Basically, your table is complete. But for my build, I will also be adding the cable management tray. There are no pre-drilled holes for the cable management tray, so you have the flexibility to put it anywhere you want on the table. For my table, I decided to put it on top of the power supply. 
you don't really need to copy how I do it because you can also place it on the front side of the table for more space. And after that, you just need to do a bit of cable management with the included straps. And finally, the table is done. And again, we recommend that you have someone else with you to help with this. But if not, do it carefully and slowly. And make sure to carry it with your legs, not your back. First, we need to reset the table. Just put it at its lowest setting and then press and hold the up and down buttons. And after that, the table will go up and down very quickly. That means that the table is ready to use. Now, if you want to set a preset, just press and hold the S button. You will see the screen blink and just press the number you want to set it to. And if the buttons are not enough for you, we also have the mobile app. And you can control your table with just the app and also get notified if you've been sitting for too long or maybe standing for too long. And that is how to build the Navodesk Smart Standing Table. So if you have any more questions, make sure to send us a message.